Hi, Flynn Morley. Grandma here. Guess what? <gasps> Story time. This one's called Aurora, A Tale of the Northern Lights. And a lady named Mindy Dwyer wrote it. Aurora. Let's see what that's all about. Northern Lights. Hmm. Sounds interesting to me. Aurora, a tale of the northern lights. Oh, look at that. A little girl, she's playing with a reindeer. They must have special lights there, I guess. Oh, pretty. Early one morning, in a long ago northern land, like where Grandma lives, a baby girl was born. Her mother named her Aurora, which means the rosy light of the dawn, the morning light. This faraway place knew only one daylight sky, for the sun would guide from one end to the sky to the other, hugging the horizon, but never slipping below. As each day passed, only the changing colors of the sky, from shimmering blue to an eerie green to the softest pink, would sig signal what time of day it was. Wow, can you imagine the lights outside turning colors to tell you what time of day it was? Look at those colors. Huh? Look at baby Aurora. She's having a snooze. Carpets of tundra filled with delicate wildflowers stretched as far as the eye could see in the land without any darkness. Caribou lived alongside Aurora and her people. Each caribou gathered into great herds, traveled an old familiar path to a mysterious midnight place, later returning to their home of light and flowers. Imagine living there and there's no night ever. No night ever. They never have any night in the summer. And when winter comes, it's always dark. That would be crazy to live like that. Very different. Aurora grew into a dreamy young girl, curious about what lay beyond the distant horizon. She wondered where the caribou that's like a reindeer, where the caribou went and often daydreamed of traveling with the herds prancing across the tundra. See the caribou? Da, 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 da. There's Aurora. She's all dressed in her boots and her dress, all kind of looking for the caribou. <gasps> wow, pretty. Under the pink glow of the early morning sun, Aurora spotted one lone caribou. How strange that he was not with his herd. She thought, that's his family, right? At first, she followed him, watching the caribou playfully kick up his hooves. Oh, it was a happy caribou, even though his family wasn't around. Then Aurora ran, and the caribou ran, and they frolicked together across the tundra in a magnificent dance. Oh, and then they danced together across the land, the tundra. Wow, that looks like fun. Before she knew it, Aurora was in the open tundra, far from her family. Feeling adventurous, though, she was ready to walk the way of the caribou. So she's going to stay with the caribou and see what they're up to. Interesting choice. I wouldn't want to be alone with a caribou, but she lives in the land, so she probably talks to the caribou sometimes, too. Soon, Aurora was hungry. Deep in the purple shadows, she found some blueberries. Yum. She plopped to the ground and had a rest to enjoy the sweet blueberry. The velvety blue color of the berries reminded Aurora of a story her grandmother told her of a place where darkness fell each night in the sky turned a deep and peaceful dark, dark indigo blue. How she longed to see this for herself. Yeah, that'd be interesting to see a dark sky, a dark blue, since it's always pink and green where she is. As Aurora continued her journey across the soft green tundra, she was comforted by the memory of her favorite grandmother. Grandmother's gentle voice told once more of the dark sky Aurora had never seen. In the dark times, the sky wrapped itself around us. Inside each one of us, there is a glow that the lights the way it keeps us warm and we are not afraid. 
Grandmother's words were a mystery to her because Aurora felt she would understand them when she arrived in the land where the darkness was and where the sky turned color of blueberries, dark blue indigo. Is this Grandma and Aurora talking? Next. Oh. Ooh, what's that? What is that? The caribou continued to lead Aurora in her long journey from home. To be safe and warm in a dark place, Aurora began to collect colors from the sky. Well, how could she do that? As days passed, Aurora gathered the delicate pink morning light and put it in her pocket. Wow, she's magic. The midday light was shimmering silver blue and this she placed in her pocket too. Twilight glowed a luminous green. This was Aurora's favorite time of day and she filled her pockets with its color. She walked, then danced, while the change with the changing colors of the sky. Wow. Imagine that. So beautiful the light. Uh oh. Suddenly a wind began to snap at Aurora's dress. The boreal wind made her feel chill. The sun dipped down the edge of the earth and the sky crossed in around her and the deepest color she had ever seen, the indigo blue that her grandmother told her about. Wow, there's her friend, the caribou. Oh, she looks cold, doesn't she? You ever been really cold, then? Yeah, you gotta put a coat or a blanket on. <gasps> How beautiful. This must be a place of mystery, Aurora thought. She gazed at this glittering sky, and though this darkness was strange and new, Aurora felt safe with the light she knew glowed inside of her. She reached into her pockets and flew the colors, lights into the sky. Wow, look at her. She threw all those lights she had in her pockets in the sky. Isn't that pretty? You can see that when you come visit Grandma, there's lights like that in the sky here. Yeah, one day, maybe try and put them in your pocket too. Wouldn't that be funny? Aurora played with the lights, admiring the way they danced across the sky, just as she had danced across the tundra with the lone caribou. The lights grew even brighter, shimmering like a certain color in the darkness. It became a dark curtain. Aurora's family saw the dancing lights and followed, hoping they would find their beloved daughter. Oh, they loved Aurora and they missed her. And they said, Aurora, don't live with the caribou anymore. Please come back home to your family. She said, I'm busy dancing the light. So it's beautiful in the sky. Although she had brought the colors of the daylight sky to comfort her, Aurora found that she was not afraid of the dark place. Oh, wow, she wasn't afraid of the indigo sky. She now understood grandmother's mysterious words. Together again, Aurora and her family celebrated a journey with the caribou, which had led Aurora to discover courage in her inner light. We all have a light inside of us, don't we? Yeah, and sometimes it burns really bright. And sometimes when we're resting, it's a dimmer light and we're happy, it's even brighter. And when we're spreading joy, like singing or dancing, it's super bright. Oh, wow, what's going on here? The adventurous spirit of Aurora lives on. When you gaze into the night sky of the north and see the dancing lights, you're watching Aurora's many colors collected on her special journey. The caribou are following her colors. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. <gasps> the end. That was a good story. What else is here? Let's see. Just a big page. <gasps> oh. Caribou antlers. Those are nice too. Okay, hope you enjoyed that, Flynn Morley. I love you. Talk to you soon.